Welcome to my study today. Let's talk about the future using the future perfect tense. It's not as difficult as it sounds, and I have a listening exercise and a written exercise at the end of the video for you to practice. So, let's get started. We make the future perfect tense by using will plus have plus a past participle. Here is the basic form of the future will have, and here are some past participles, spoken, seen, been, walked, and taken. Remember that we quite often abbreviate the will form to l, so sometimes you don't hear it. I'll have read my book by tomorrow. I'll. The question form, we reverse the subject and of course the verb. Will I have passed my exam by Christmas? And the question form, quite often again we change it to won't rather than will not. He won't have walked a hundred miles by Friday. We use the future perfect tense to talk about an action that will have been completed at or before a time in the future. Look at these examples. The football match will have finished at three o'clock. Don't worry, the opera won't have started before we get to the theatre. If we don't get there before seven, they will have eaten everything. When we look at something which is possible or we assume it to be true and we tell somebody else, we can say, you will have heard, I expect, that Mary is going to be married. And also for a duration of time rather than a fixed point of time. I save five pounds a month and I started in January. By the end of the year, I shall have saved 60 pounds. If you're very observant, you'll notice in the last example, I introduced the word by. And that's very useful when we're talking about an event that will be completed on or before a certain time in the future. By this afternoon, he will have written three letters. I hope the rain will have stopped by this afternoon. And we can use by as a response to the question form of the tense. When will you have finished the cleaning? I'll have finished the cleaning by three o'clock. So we can give a time reference in the future when the event will have been finished. If you've enjoyed my lesson, could I ask you to please subscribe below and ring that bell. Thanks. Now here's a listening exercise using the future perfect tense. Try to read along and listen to my voice at the same time. It's very good for helping you practice your intonation and phrasing of English. Wet paint. It's two o'clock now and this paint will have dried by three o'clock. It says on the tin it dries in one hour. By that time, my brother will have had time to come home and change into his football clothes. I can go to my friend's house at half past two because I will have finished cleaning up. But I won't have had time to make a sign about the wet paint. Oh well, it'll be okay. Nobody will have noticed the paint because it will have dried before then. It says on the tin, And here's an exercise so you can practice replacing the verbs in the brackets with the future perfect tense. And here are the answers.
Next time we shall have a look at the active and passive voice, how to construct these sentences. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe below and I'll see you next time. Bye.